So in, uh, as we uh, kind of lean into St. Peter's life and witness uh, through these lessons, I'm particularly thinking of uh, the prophet Ezekiel and Peter's career and how that relates to us. And that the, the, the word of the Lord says to, uh, says to Ezekiel, you know, I'm not sending you to a people of strange speech or kind of hard to, you know, people difficult to understand. And in a sense, Peter was the, you know, in a sense, has a Galilean Jew kind of, you know, living in Jewish country. Um, you know, it was not his assigned to him to be an apostle to the Gentiles. That was assigned to by God to uh, St. Paul, who grew up in Tarsus, who grew up in a Greco-Roman cultural context. Even though he was trained as a Pharisee, he was trained as a Pharisee, as kind of a, uh, as a, as living as a minority within the majority culture. So Paul was perfect to go around the rest of the Greco-Roman world and teach Christians how to live as a minority within a majority pagan world. We'll deal with Paul later. But first, with Peter, you know, he sent to the people who's, you know, that that in a sense, Peter was not necessarily multilingual. He probably had, a, well, of course he had Aramaic. He probably had the coin of Greek um, just as the language to do business with as a, you know, to sell in his fish. He just, you know, one of the big buyers would be the Roman garrison over there uh, in, uh, in uh, up at, uh, um, oh gosh, I'm, it's escaping me. Um, but anyway, the, the big garrison town up the way, and uh, Tiberius, that's it, Tiberius, up in Tiberius. And, um, you know, so he just, he probably had a little, you know, just enough coin to greet to get around and do his business. But, you know, he was, you know, he is a local businessman. And so, you know, Peter is someone who operates within the, the, the you know, who is called to spread the gospel to those kind of in his language group. The one person, though, the kind of the Gentile that Peter reaches out to is Cornelius the Centurion, who Cornelius is the one, in a sense, he's the one who's interested in Jewish ways. He's a God-fearing Gentile and a friend of the people. So Cornelius Centurion is someone who is able to meet Peter a little bit more than halfway in the cultural divide. So what, is that, what does that mean for us? In a sense, when we, you know, when God's people are sent out to bring the good news, you know, it, the Holy, when we talk about that, it's not like you, you have to go to another continent to share the good news of Jesus. That is, you know, that we can hear the word of the Lord to Ezekiel, that the Lord sends you to people with whom you're familiar, whose language you speak, not to st uh, strange people, but the people around you that God has put into your life. And so that is the place of your witness. And as Peter discovered, that can be a place where there can be just as much, if not more, hostility to the good news of Jesus. And yet, that is where God sends us. And so we, uh, we don't in, spread the good news of Jesus in, in our contemporary context, necessarily by through argumentation or just kind of laying it out as Peter does in this lesson from Acts. But I think it's more effective simply to uh, invite, to invite to come along to bring people along with in a journey with Jesus and to, in a sense, share this as a part of your life, as, one of your, as part of your relationship with God. So, uh, so let's, you know, I commend to your prayers to, for, for you to pray that God would reveal to you uh, the person or persons that are not strangers to you, that don't speak a foreign language, that are, you know, uh, in a sense, you can culturally connect with them because they're in your circle of friendship, they share, might share a hobby, and you know that you have a relationship with them. Those are the very people to whom God sends you. You don't have to go far. You just have to have your eyes and your heart open uh, to sharing the good news of Jesus with them. Let us say together a reading from the prophet Ezekiel. He said to me, Mortal, go to the house of Israel and speak my very words to them. For you are not sent to a people of obscure speech and difficult language, but to the house of Israel. Not to many peoples of obscure speech and difficult language, whose words you cannot understand. Surely, if I sent you to them, they would listen to you. But the house of Israel will not listen to you, 
for they are not willing to listen to me because all the house of Israel have a hard forehead and a stubborn heart. See, I have made your face hard against their faces and your forehead hard against their foreheads. Like the hardest stone, harder than flint, I have made your forehead. Do not fear them or be dismayed at their looks for they are a rebellious house. He said to me, mortal, all my words that I shall speak to you, receive in your heart and hear with your ears. Then go to the exiles, your, to your people and speak to them. Say to them, thus says the Lord God, whether they hear or refuse to hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> 